Welcome fans on this week's episode of Belt 95 Sports. Can the Baltimore Ravens recover from that loss to the Tennessee Titans, that devastating loss in overtime? And can they even prepare for this week's um, short week for the uh, Thanksgiving night game against the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers on this week's episode of Belt 95? So welcome back, fans. Like I said, you know um, this week's episode is it's a short week for the for the team. Um, they got to play Pittsburgh um, actually in, in a few days now for Thanksgiving. Um, with the current situation with the team, is who knows if they even 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 play the game. I know they didn't practice today. Um, J.K. Dobbins and um, Mark uh, Ingram uh, tested positive for COVID this week. I uh, know Marlon Humphreys tested positive a couple of weeks ago. Um, I believe uh, Brandon Williams came in close contact, so he might be on the same protocol as well. I believe they had to be five to seven days after be out, uh, which will put them out of the, the game for uh, Pittsburgh. But it seems like this team, it, 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 it get worse week to week with the injuries. Um, now with the COVID protocols and, and players getting sick, I'm surprised Lamar haven't got coming down with COVID um, so far. But... The, 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 the three losses so far, um, devastating close losses the team should have should have won. Um, dating back to the Pittsburgh loss, of course they lost to Kansas City, but it was no there was no fight in the team on that Monday night game. So I can't even compare that. That was just a that was a loss they're just gonna get. But a close loss, they lost to Pittsburgh. It kind of had a downward spiral. Not that saying that Pittsburgh was a better team than the Ravens at that that point in time, but just that Lamar shot itself in the foot too many times with the, with the turnovers. But then you look at that the loss to New England. You know, people can say it was bad weather. Of course, you always put that on it, but uh, that's a team they should have put away. Um, you look at the Texans this past week; they put away New England. Um, so it, it was no excuse that the Ravens couldn't have put them put them away, even though it was a bad weather, bad you know bad weather game. But you know, I I, I, I don't understand about this past Sunday's loss against Tennessee. Um, they had a level point game, um, eleven point lead in the second half, and they couldn't even hold it. They had a ninety yard drive or one play close to the end of the game, and um, I believe it was like close to the uh, last part of the third third quarter to the fourth quarter. Um, it seemed like they they had a pretty good handle on, on the Titans. Um, for most part of the game, maybe three quarters or two and a half quarters if you say that. And it just gave up. It just the 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 Titans offense sustained so many long drives it just wore the defense out. And I know the defense is short handed, but you know, you know, Coach Hobbs, you gotta, you know, you it, it would seem like they would have a, a better play. Not that that Lamar, he, you know, some people say Lamar is taking a step back from last year. Now, it could also be the Madden curse, you know, that, I hate to say that it could be a poss possibility it's the, the Madden curse, you know, but it, it, it seemed like it's this team, it, it, we had high hopes in the beginning of the season. It will be Baltimore, Kansas City competing for the um, AFC, but it don't look like it's that way. Pittsburgh is 10 and 0 now, and and nobody nobody even thinks the the Ravens even have a chance to win this Thursday night game. Um, it'll be a huge statement game if they could kind of you know fight in there and get a win. You know they're they're six and four right now, um, seven and four. Get them back into the playoff picture. Um, it's just devastating when you have Cleveland with half game back from Cleveland. They they owe us in the division. You know that those are some sad times. But it it I I I don't want to say some bad things. But you know with the the COVID issue, uh, times are hard now. You know who knows even if we're gonna have a full NFL season this year. Maybe like with the NBA and um, MLB. But I, I, I'm just really disappointed in the way the team looks right now. Um, all of us had high hopes, high hopes that they would, you know, compete for a championship this year. 
it's not over yet, especially with the extended playoff. But you hate to kind of back foot into the playoffs, and when you get there, you want it done. Um, after that, that huge um, hype from last year, and, and leading into this year from that that Tennessee loss early in January of this year, and then for them to come back into the house again and blow us, knock us back out again. Um, I, I, you know, hopefully that the team has some type of energy, some fight for this 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 Thursday night game. Uh, being in prime time and they want to, you know, get one up on the Steelers in their own home. But I, 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 I'm just, just lost for words right now. Um, it's easy for us to say this on the other side of the camera because we're not the players. And like I always tell people, um, you can have a good team on paper, but every player is an individual. Every player has different situations in them in their lives. The market come to come to work one day, or, or I say it's work is their job. Come to work one day feeling fine, but Hollywood Brown may have a family emergency or family issues that might be on his mind. He might not play as well, and that's another issue as far as getting Hollywood into the offense. I know he made some statements a couple of weeks week back. Lamar this past Sunday says he's trying to you know find ways to get him involved. Um, Hollywood did have a drop and then a miss in the end zone. I throw the ball in the end zone more on Lamar's fault than it was Hollywood. But it seemed like I wish the team would have gotten Antonio Brown. It, it probably would have solidified in number one um, number one spot as far as a wide receiver. And then plus it would have motivated Hollywood because he has his cousin with him. But I, sometimes I don't understand how the Ravens operate. Now with... Um, Hit Des Bryant, you know, it was great for him to, to to get back into the NFL and get his first reception since 2017. Um, so great to see him. I think with him, he's he's motivated. I think that's gonna be the spark that if this team goes anywhere, it's gonna be through him. Now it was a play where he was wide open and Lamar missed him, or I'm sorry, Lamar, Lamar didn't see him. He won his first read, so Lamar didn't look for him, but you know, that probably would have been an easy touchdown for for the team had he had saw um, Des Bryant wide open. But, you know, those are some of the things Lamar is going to, you know, you know, gain over time. Um, this is an un, un, unlikely season for any sports fan, any sports team. Um, and now with the COVID situation and, and, and Ravens players coming down with it. And like I said, I had it uh, this past June. So it, it's nothing to, to play with. And, and sometimes some point in the time that I had it, I didn't think I was going to make it. Um, so it, it's something really real. Um, and when you have a physical job and you have to do this, you, your body not really prepared for that. Um, me being a first responder, so I, I definitely know that. But, um, you know, I, I just want to uh, say that I hope the team puts up much of a fight this, this, um, this Thursday night. Um, and wish us for the best. Hopefully we get a win out of it. Hope we can right this ship. Um, hopefully no other player comes down with COVID. Um, so, you know, hopefully that won't happen. But, um, you know, guys, give me some of your opinions, um, some of your comments. Um, we're doing a little different thing here with the set here, you know, because we always incorporated um, uh, D.C., Maryland, Virginia. So we cover all the DMV sports. That's why the set looks like this. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, please uh, email it to Beltway Night by Sports uh, at Gmail or um, Beltway Night by Sports .com or leave your um, email information in the comments and we'll um, give you a different link, whatever. And then once you do that, incorporate a picture of yourself because we like to incorporate that in the video as well. So thank you guys for your time. Wear your mask. Be safe. Enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday and go Ravens.